All right, uh, time for a tunnel diode oscillator. Uh, we're going to be using this circuit here, <laughs> sort of. Uh, there's a tunnel diode, and then there's an inductor and a capacitor. So the inductor is just a loop of wire, a 9 millimeter diameter loop of wire. And then the uh, capacitor is one picofarad, so not much of a capacitor. There is a, 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 point, a point zero 0.01 microfarad over here just to, just to hold the... Uh, hold the voltage constant here, and it's a 700 millivolts on the tunnel diode to put it in its negative bias region. So, um, I did a uh, video earlier on tunnel diodes. If you haven't watched that, you should to know how tunnel diodes work. I'll try to remember how to uh, put, it, put it down below. So, um, the first thing I need to do is to come up with a one, I can make the loop, that's easy to do, but I need a one picofarad capacitor and I don't have one, but I can make them. Um, I did a video once before. Uh, they're called M Mimic Diodes, M-I-C-C-K-I-K, -I -I anyway, can't spell in my head, Mimic Diodes. Um, and uh, so let's make one. Uh, you take uh, some insulated wire and you twist it together. Can you see that? Uh, you just twist the wires together, okay? And how do you know if you have a one picofarad capacitor made out of these twisted wires. It's just uh, the insulator holds them apart and then the distance between the two wires makes a capacitor. So how do you know? Well, you don't. So you have to measure one. So let's go up here uh, to a LCR meter. I'll put it in the LCR meter. It's actually 2.2 picofarads. All right. So it's very easy to make a one microfarad, one picofarad capacitor. You just start uh, giving it a haircut. Uh, let's see, that's 2.04, uh, 1 1.75, 1 1.5, 1 1.3, 1.1. 1 oh, getting close, I'm getting close. And there we go. Over, I overcut it. All right. You see what to do. You just make your own one picofarad capacitor. That's pretty cool, All right? All right. So I need a loop of nine millimeter wire. So I went in. Uh, I found a uh, socket, and uh, the diameter of the socket is nine millimeters. And I can just wrap wrap some. Uh, I can wrap some wire around that and make my nine millimeter diameter piece of wire, all right? So, once I get it all together, all right, so here is my circuit. Uh, so I used uh, one insulated wire and one uninsulated wire for my capacitor. You can do it the other way too, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then here is the 0 0.01 microfarad across the whole thing. Here's my nine millimeter loop of wire. So, and of course my tunnel diode. So there we go. Uh, this is minus and this is plus. And so we can hook it up to a power supply. And then we need to monitor it somehow. Is it oscillating or is it not oscillating? Uh, I don't want to put a scope probe on it. I want to see if it's oscillating. So I'm going to be using a, uh, a non-contact uh, probe on my uh, spectrum analyzer. So this is just a, a loop here, and we will hook that up to the uh, to the spectrum analyzer, and then we'll just get this loop next door. And if it's oscillating, then it will pick it pick it pick it up, and and we'll see it on the uh, spectrum analyzer. So let me turn that on. And there we go. We're getting oscillation. Uh, so we have, this is from zero to nine, uh, zero to three gigahertz. And so we're getting uh, a couple spurs here, um, a main, a second harmonic, third harmonic, fourth harmonic. And so we can do a peak on that. And we are oscillating at 362 megahertz. The next peak is at, the next peak is at 721 megahertz. All right, let's uh, let's zoom in on this one. And uh, there we go. So it's not the cleanest oscillator for sure. It is jumping all around. So let me uh, let me change the bias on the uh, 
the bias voltage on the uh, tunnel diode. See if we can change it a bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's voltage sensitive. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Let's go back out. Uh, let's change the span farther out. I'm going to change the span to 10 megahertz. And then as I change the volt, oh, look at that. It's tunable. So there we go. We make a tunable oscillator um, and a really awful one at that. So <laughs> yeah, uh, boy, that's pretty, that's pretty ugly. All right, let's uh, do a span. So that was plus or minus 10 megahertz. Let's do 100 megahertz. And let's see how far we can tune this thing. Okay, we can tune it up to here. That is 375 megahertz. And uh, that is at 0.55 volts. Okay. And then we can, oh, it kind of FM's down here. Okay, so maybe it's the very best when I have it at its maximum. So let's, that's about at its maximum. So let's see if it's a more stable. We'll do a span of 10 megahertz. It's, it's not very stable, no. It's not very stable at all. Okay, that well, that's a funny little uh, funny little circuit, tunnel diode and uh, an LC circuit, and uh, yeah, somewhere around 375 megahertz down to I don't know plus plus well I guess it's that minus 20 megahertz something like that. It is tunable by this by this uh, voltage here. It's very unstable, and uh, yeah, uh, it does what it does. Nice fast oscillator. Yeah, I'll leave you with a, a close up of this thing. All right, circuit for the day.